In this video, you will learn about the anatomy of a scholarly article. Scholarly articles consist of different sections and parts, some of which you may want to focus on more than others. Scholarly articles aren't necessarily meant to be read in a linear fashion from beginning to end. Instead, you should look at the different sections to quickly gather what type of study the article is, the methods and procedures used, and the conclusions the researchers made based on the study. The abstract of an article usually gives a brief summary of what the article is about and may include results and conclusions. However, an abstract is only a brief overview to help you decide whether or not you want to invest time in reading the article. It is in no way meant as a substitute for reading the article. The introduction of an article states the problem that the researchers are investigating and what they hope to accomplish. The literature review section is sometimes included as part of the introduction. The literature review is an overview of published research on the topic and how this new study picks up where that previous research left off. The methods section, also known as the procedure or experiment section, gives a detailed account of every research process in the study, including the criteria for selecting subjects, as well as every tool or measurement used. The method section needs to be as precise and accurate as possible, so that it can be replicated or improved upon in future studies. The results section, which is also sometimes called the data section, lists what the outcomes of the study were. This can include numbers and measurements in various charts and graphs. The discussion section of an article examines the results of the study and what they mean. This includes what could have been done differently in the procedure or factors present in the experiment that could have skewed the results. This is where you can expect to learn whether the research proves that an intervention worked, for example. The conclusion section of an article is sometimes included in the discussion section. The conclusion is usually brief and is where the authors suggest ways their study can be applied in future research. So to recap, you don't necessarily want to read an entire scholarly article from beginning to end. You only want to read sections that may have information important to you. The introduction and literature review sections describe the problem that the researchers hope to solve and also gives a review of previous research. The methods section gives a detailed account of the procedures used in the study. The discussion section interprets the data from the results section. And finally, the conclusion section offers brief suggestions for future research. If you have any questions about the library or the services provided, please call, text, or email us and we will be more than happy to help you.